Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And as you can see, that giant machine behind me has gone well in. I know I'm a little bit late, but hey, it can't be helped, can it? When I mean, you've got other things going on. So let's just flick it round. As you can see, where it's munching in right now, that is obviously where all the lift gear was. doorways and everything in there and it's above the boom arm there's all the machine climbing in above it and all the windings here and everything so we've got this left or that way in which yeah for speed of demo yeah move it all in but come on it's quite a lot of metal in there that you could have got out but maybe couldn't get it out without having to take a tin up and the tip room never can tell sometimes all the dust down. It is pretty damn warm out here. But I mean this is just mad. The speed that they managed to tear this thing down started nibbling away at it last week and it's already got to this. So uh, they're coming down pretty quick with this. It's going to be coming down pretty quick. This is a good spy hole so we can frame it. Let's have a look at what's uh, gone on on the other side. Quite a lot of progress over here as well. Quite a lot of progress gone over here as well. It's going to be a little bit of a sheltered area to be able to see. The quality of the cable racking out there. Over on the other side, quite a lot of progress being made, so it won't be soon until we get maybe like this side of the building gone and more of this end gone. But yeah, that clock is way out, it's starting to show that it hasn't really uh, had much time. We have a big truck that's just arrived obviously to pick up more rubble and recycling and metal and stuff. Apologies if you can't hear me, I can't shout above this. I'm already reaching the limit of how loud I can actually go without it being a little bit obnoxious. So, unfortunately, I am sorry. that bit at that let's have a quick wander to some of the other places I'll just wait till I get out of the noise and I can give you a couple more clues as to uh, where the next 
like event blogging moment or whatever is going to be. And since it's getting a bit quieter, I can actually uh, do it. So it's a place on the coast with me and a friend. And there's some machines there. One of them designed or yeah, designed and maybe constructed by Sahara Maxim. And there's a couple of other uh, bits of machinery and insanity there, which have the hallmarks of Charles Page. Those of you who might be a bit nerdy might actually be able to work that one out by now. You probably already worked it out just what I gave you the other week's clue of uh, a music video was filmed there and it was a uh, major thing in the early 90s and it became quite a good piece of marketing for the place. I'll also give you a sideline one of that as well. Um, there is a sister to that uh, machine or creation which is over in Sandusky, Ohio. And the company which did all of the design and initial fab for it is known for its collaborations with Disney. So that's all I'm going to give you with that one. Uh, but this is going to basically be the last one before the uh, insanity goes up. So beyond that, you'll just have to deal with that. But once the insanity goes up, you'll know if you were correct. And if you do think that you have any ideas of where this next one is going to be this week, stick it down below. Interactions always help. You guys should know that by now. But anyway, you guys are going on pause for a minute until we get to the other area and we will see what other action has gone on. Pause! Oh, as you can see, no much has changed on this side of it. It's this all seems to be staying as is for now, but it won't be long until once they've done most of the dam work up that side, that they'll be coming this way and taking all this lot down. I'll just give you a quick run through, like, you know, through, through as I nicknamed it because of the amount of Halloween events I've done over the years. What will you do? Obviously, kind of, I know that joke's probably going to get out of hand. Probably going to be a little bit um, old by now. But well, let's just see the danger zone toilet's still there. <laughs> I'm sure people like that one. The old danger zone toilet. Then again, with the amount of generators and shit that they've got going on out here now, I think things might have changed. Nope, the danger zone toilet's still there. So, someone along the line, whoever placed that there, great bit of humour. But it still allows me to do the someone will be shitting in the danger zone one day. But can't really see much of it coming this way yet. But it will do soon. Because they're not so far off, they're just over the other side of that wall. Basically where you have the walkway in the back office is here. The other side of that was part of the walkways. So they're literally only the other side of that roof. And then once because they're going over that way they'll be coming this way with it or pulling it this way first but a lot of this lot has to be done scaff up there it's still quite friendly still got all the mess but you can see the bits that they've done obviously they're going to have to have a generator somewhere because they've isolated away from that and whilst we've got a little bit of a quiet moment before I start walking to the next zones uh, thank you to all of those of you who have uh, started following along with this adventure and have uh, subbed up. Those of you who are commenting, comments are always helping because it's still slowly helping with the algorithm. Always keep smashing those likes and if you can do, share this shit around. I know everyone says it but come on, we have to do it. If we're going to make something out of this, we do have to do that. My knowledge isn't exactly brilliant about this place but being about as old as some of the buildings which have been pulled down. You can kind of say that. Parts of this definitely edged 
disgracefully. But I mean, come on, I'm aging disgracefully. I've got tats and I've had piercings. Age is note. Older you get, the more you realise you're still just a giant child. Ain't that the truth? And then, whoa, chippy always smells good when you go past it. Mmm, chippy. And we'll drop one of them things from the beginning. Ah, mmm, pa. Give us a pa. <laughs> we don't all like pies, you know. Yeah, I know. I do stuffy face with pies, but I grew up on them. Anyway, let's flip it round. Then you can see this is now coming on at quite a pace. A lot more has gone on since the last time we filmed along here with that lot coming down over there. They've taken the roof off from over there. Looks like that uh, kind of like you know, relief road, escape road area and stuff has just been used to pile all the stuff up. And a lot of the stuff has been pulled down and pulled across. So they're not going to be so far away from going that way soon. And taking everything out. But all this lot has to make way because this is where the new market hall is going. Bowser, and no, that isn't the Mario Bowser. <laughs> I know everyone loves the Bowser pun, but still, a little Jenny on there going. Holes punched through structures and obviously just over there you can see an interim ceiling but obviously a lot of this all has to come down so i will go to the last places and then that will be it so again just for a brief moment pause and as you can see the scaff it's slowly coming down and you can see where they've cut it off a bit better up there where you can see the steel up there remaining one of the big bits of eye bar going through more of this is all starting to come down if I can get a cheeky little look through the hole which I can do so give you a quick look at what's going on there I can't really give you a close-up view of that thing, but let me see. Looks like it's chipping away at that wall. quick look that way as well you see where they've got the, the walkway in there and everything it's not so far from uh, being finished on this side and soon they're not exactly going to be so far away from going into another area which instead of giving you a quick pause so that so what do you all think about what's going on a few people in comments have said that it does seem to be a bit of a waste that it doesn't really be needed especially because well yeah we have the cinema at the other side of town near the stadium it's in danger because not many people are going so that says something whether it's just because it's in the wrong place or whether because people don't really want to go to the cinema especially after all of the stuff that went on through Rona but hey you can't exactly blame everything on Rona and then everyone's got streaming services and so you can always stream everything. Most people get things with DVDs and stuff like that. And you've not got time, especially with the uh, cost of living and all that shite that's going on right now. Not many people could afford to go out. And then bowling. Bowling's not so far away. That's only like a five, ten minute walk going the other way. Oh, six and out. So that ain't too far either. So that's not too bad. So it's not like we don't exactly have it. And who really wants to live in the middle of the town centre? Especially when you're getting kicked out at God knows what time now. Especially straight onto a 
like you vomited out onto an old roadway but since we're not so far away from digging to the other side of this it won't be too long till the eventually started coming through here so I am not sure how much of this is original and how much was modified in the 80s to fit that in but what is that with you too long till they're coming through it because they're only what three or four rows back and coming in here so that's going to be interesting so we're going to start seeing more scaff go up along here and along that to protect everyone from dust and everything so i don't know how many of the dust cannons can go through um but it's going to be interesting because there's probably going to be what since we're at here there's probably going to be a little bit of a shufty back of that as well sometimes they might need to shuffle that back or they might have to cut another portal in there so they can stick where their doors in but it is coming along and all of that lot and I'm probably going to cut out copyright strike for this guy but I mean old M&S someone could do something with this place bring something back even if it doesn't exactly mean anything you know like I'm going to carry on with my little thing of try and see if you can make a mini Aflex, like a wigging version of Aflex or something, you know, have some micro stalls in there, get some stuff going, then, you know, when you've got something else for pride, because there's, I know in Aflex, you got all of like, you know, your LGBT friendly stuff, all that, lot. so you can have like a decent pride shop, get away with like more rock music, more alternate stuff. You get with a lot more stuff if you have like one of those like micro malls. Same with like WH Smith. Stuff like that, you can do that. Maybe one of these shops, as I said before, like an arcade. So, you know, like coin pushes, your claw machines, your skill, skill things, like your giant drop, and your prize machines and stuff like that. There's a lot of other stuff you could do with what's here than just kick the crap out of it and rebuild it just because you've got a grant. Does it quite work like that? So that's my feelings on it. Whatever your feelings are, stick them down below because it's always going to be helpful. So if you could like, comment, subscribe, share, favourite, whatever it is that you want to do. And that has been me. And I will bid you adieu. Until the next time. Peace.